Hi, today we're going to talk about phrasal verbs, yes? As we know, phrasal verbs are the verbs that consist of a verb and a particle, either a preposition or an adverb. A typical one, for example, would be look for. Yes, you've lost your keys and you're looking for them everywhere. Or turn off. Yes, turn off the television. Okay, there are three types of phrasal verb, yes? Let's look at them. The first type is the intransitive phrasal verb. Okay, intransitive verb means, of course, it has no subject. A good example would be, for example, get up. What do you do in the mornings? I get up at 7. Notice there is no object, so there's nothing to worry about. The second type of verb is the separable transitive verb. This type of verb can be separated in the sense that I can, for example, move the, the noun subject around. Turn the TV on, or I can also say, turn on the TV. Notice it doesn't make any difference to the meaning of the sentence. However, if instead of a noun I use a, pr a pronoun, then there is no choice. Then it has to be between the verb and its particle. Yes, I cannot say, turn on it. Or at least with that, se that meaning of the sentence. And the third type is the inseparable transitive. As you can probably guess, this means we cannot separate the verb from its particle. A good example would be one I gave here, for example, look for. Uh, he looks for his keys. Yeah. Now, unlike the separable transitive verb we talked about before, I cannot put this noun between the verb and its particle. Yeah. He looks, he looks his keys for is terrible. And it doesn't matter if it's a noun or a pronoun. Yes, both of them go after the particle. Any questions?